everyone. Um, thank you for the opportunity to be part of this forum as we talk about standing in solidarity. Um, again, I'm Alvin Tejada. I'm a senior program manager in PSG Global Solutions. Just like what Richard men mentioned, it's an RPO company or recruitment process outsourcing. We cater to recruiting needs of different staffing firms across the world with heavy client base in the US. Diversity can take many forms from culture and nationality to gender, race, sexuality, educational background, and more. And while we know that discrimination still exists, we actually have already gone a long way in terms of inclusiveness and diversity. The diversity in the Philippine workforce, just like many other countries across the world, has already evolved, especially the past couple of decades. We've already seen women and senior leadership and even executive positions, may it be in private companies or the government successful young professionals who are already leading their organization or the entire industry they belong. And different companies are already composed of professional and individuals from different cultural backgrounds and nationalities. In PSG alone, women and members of the LGBTQIA takes up more or less 50% of our senior management team. So what brought us here? Um, I'm sure there were several contributors to such progress, but I would like to highlight one today that I think and feel was one of the most high impacting. Awareness that led to loss. Knowing, learning, and understanding that discrimination exists helped in coming up with laws to protect everyone from it. In the US, federal laws enforced by their Employ Equal Employment Opportunity Commission prohibiting discrimination in many aspects of employment have been existing for a while now. These laws prohibit discrimination based on disability, race, color, religion, gender, or national origin. Such laws cover not just recruitment process, process, but also compensating, discharging, and providing privileges to employees. With PSG having a heavy client base in the US, we are very particular in complying to these laws when screening applicants and candidates for our clients across different industries. I would say it, this is also true in the Philippines. We already have several laws protecting women solo parents, person with disability, the indigenous people, person with HIV or AIDS, with respect to recruitment or job application, employment termination, promotion, and more. This made a lot of organizations today across our country very diverse. In PSG, we have several guiding principles that directly contribute to in promoting inclusiveness and diversity within our company. Merit, employee development, data, and fun, to name a few. Our employees are assessed and rewarded based purely on their actual performance and competencies, may it be for a performance bonus, a company recognition, or an, an opportunity to go up the ladder in their career. We also have several employee engagement activities like our quarterly company review, headed by our executives and weekly half hour that provides information about our company progress and also encourage everyone, regardless of, their, regardless of their background or social identification, to showcase their talents and skills. But just like many other companies across the country and probably across the world, we are still a work in progress. We're still learning and have a long way to go. But I, I would say we are more open by the day. So now um, the question maybe is how do, we more, how do we move forward from today? It is important to recognize that diversity will continue to evolve Hence the need for us to continue to educate ourselves about the changes we can also adapt. We also need to be mindful that pro promoting inclusiveness and diversity requires a two-way communication and understanding. Remember that, that, that diversity takes many forms and that includes differences in cultural and social exposure. An initially perceived discrimination instance may just be a difference in social exposure and background of two different parties. Communication, listening, and understanding are very important. The last thing I wanna say is that we stand in solidarity. It's way more than just having a common goal and mindset. It's a collective action to promote inclusiveness and diversity of every single member of your organization. Thank you again, Richard and everyone for having me.